Hey guys, Chris from Roses 3D here. I am back from Mexico. I am back uh, working and doing all the things. So, uh, here's the video I promised of the uh, print workshop that I've promised a bunch. So, here we are. Okay, so this is one of the ultra, ultra rare times when I don't actually have any of my printers running. So I figured that was the absolute perfect time to shoot this video. And it's actually somewhat remotely clean. So don't judge me. Um, there's gonna be a lot of don't judging me in this video. I can promise you that right now. Anyway, so I have most of my printers actually off so you can actually not have to hear fans going all the time because I'm not one of those guys who goes out and buys all the Noctua fans, even though I would love to. Um, so, I'm going to give you a quick tour. I do not have a cameraman, I have me. So, I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to walk around. And I don't have a lot of lighting down here, but I do have a terrible light on the camera. So, hopefully that will be enough. And, yay. So, uh, the reason I, I'm doing this now, particularly, is because I was kind of struggling with myself. Like... I started this channel and I really wanted to, um, you know, do a lot of reviews and a lot of great things. And um, there are so many people, so many great people that do reviews and, um, you know, just talk about products and uh, demos and things like that. And I didn't really want to compete. I didn't feel like I could. And I still don't think I can. So I was talking to a friend of mine and he was like, well why don't you do what you do really well? I'm like, okay, what's that? Um, and he was like, oh, um, multicolor printing. I was like, oh yeah, I'm pretty good at that. So um, that's actually what I do almost every print job. So uh, I had announced on Facebook in on my work page that I was gonna be starting um, a new series on multi-process, multi-color, multi-extrusion, multi-material, um, print, like designing and printing. Um, and it's kind of cool because at the same time, uh, I do, uh, YouTube videos for another channel, uh, 3D Printing Canada, and I'll, I'll put a link in the box, but, um, I'm doing a, sh a short-ish series on simple to design but useful items in Fusion 360. So it's good for like an average person who has like a reasonably okay grasp of Fusion but just wants to know how to do certain things. I am not a Fusion Pro, I never claim to be, and I never will be, but I know how to use it enough to do what I need to do. So I'm sharing that there, but there's going to be a lot of Fusion um, in this whole upcoming series. So anyway, I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna grab the camera and I'm going to walk around and show you. Oh, I just got a text, huh, now I'll show you. Okay, first up on this little table, I don't know if I can stand back far enough, I don't care. Anyway, so um, again, don't judge me, but I name all of my printers after Transformers. My FDM printers are Autobots and my resin printers are Decepticons. Anyway, so uh, this one over here, this is one of the newer ones that I've gotten. It's actually, I got it from a friend of mine. Um, this is Hound. It's a PX Malian Core i3. Uh, it's just a small build volume. The only things I've really done to make it print any better is I added this fan duct down here. I'm not good at pointing, so bear with me. Um, and the rest is really just cosmetic. All my printers need nameplates with their Autobot names. And uh, I just needed a spool holder mounted up there, so I grabbed this off a CR-10 that I wasn't using. And uh, that's about it. Just wired it all up. Uh, all my printers I run uh, Octoprint, and they all have Pies. They all have cameras, but this one, because I haven't bought one yet. Uh, I got a couple of, well, I have another Pie over here and a couple of more power supplies. This is an AstroBox Touch that I'm not currently using. Um, I'm gonna jump over here real quick and show you the seven inch Raspberry Pi touchscreen. 
that costs $1 million up here in Canada, or as we call it, $120. Um, and I was looking to save a little bit of money, and the same friend of mine that gave me the idea for the video series said, hey, why don't you try an Android tablet? Ta-da, 55 bucks on Amazon, score. So, and this one's really cool because it controls uh, two different printers. So we've got Hound right here, and then Jazz, who's my souped up Ender 3, and they both function off of this one tablet here. So let's see. So moving over to Jazz, we got, I put legs on all of them just because it's usually easier to reach under here to get the leveling knobs. Uh, just a simple camera mount. I really love this Pets Fang for the stock extruder. This is all stock, uh, the stock hot end, sorry. Um, all stock except the Capricorn tube and uh, McEwen 3D. Um, Flex extruder, and the rest is all cosmetic. And there's some multicolor printing right there for you. Anyway, moving on, Jetfire. Jetfire used to be my biggest printer. Uh, it's a CR10S4. Same thing. He's got some legs. I love keeping my tools handy, so I made uh, a couple of these guys. Um, don't worry about my pops up there. I can't tell how dark this is because I can't see. Anyway, so I just built the different spool holders because it was more convenient because I added a uh, Titan Arrow over here. So I get some really nice big prints out of this. Then we go over here to Printers Off, yet. Got the, Astro the uh, Octawa print box running. All right, moving over here to Ultra Magnus. He is running uh, an E3D V6 with uh, an ABL. Um, I put a lot of new tensioners on all my machines um, and using these brackets just to keep things a little bit tighter in place. Same thing, uh, flexible extruder and uh, legs on big lovely knobs for before I had the ABL and another seven inch touch moving over here here's the the big well the beast this does a lot of the hard work so this is Optimus Prime as you can clearly see he has heads up there I printed these heads right on this printer wow I really am not a good cameraman anyway um, on this printer right here using my palette plus so i've got this all set up over here so i just made these i haven't screwed them in yet because this is in its final home there's a little optimus over there because it needs to happen and uh, this one also has a titan arrow all right it's kind of dark over here let me see if i can swing some lights on hi buddy Tyrion came to say hi. Let me see if I can spin this around and get a little bit more going. All right, we got a little bit more. This is Grimlock. He is a T-Rex 2 Plus. So I just threw that different spool mount up there. All my printers have to have color schemes, so I actually sprayed the red metal gold. Um, so, and I always do mirrors. This one actually is a custom cut mirror, just like on Jetfire, 400 by 400. He doesn't have legs, but he doesn't need it because he's got a BL touch. Um, another Pi 7 inch touch screen. Uh, this one also has a Kinovo bed, which I love. This was my very first printer. This is Bumblebee. Um, running an Astrobox touch on him. Just a little camera up front here. I really mainly use this one for ABS just because it is fully enclosed. And my awesome, epic Captain America that was printed right over here. All right, and don't mind my messy toolbox. Moving over here, we've got, uh, this is Rumble and Frenzy. They are a D7 Plus and a D7 with the D7 box and just in tubs of alcohol and I gotta kinda walk around here and then I just have one of my computers here 
mounted up on the wall so it's easy to control anything I need to get to from right here. Here is the big monster. Let me see how far I can stand back here. So yeah, this table wasn't in the middle of the room until uh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago. So this, I'm gonna see how well I can do this here. So this is my uh, CR10 S5. It's the new model with the filament out and the blah, blah, blah. Um, this is modded up pretty well. There's nothing like hardcore done to it. Um, just a lot of little things. So again, the legs, tensioner here. I haven't put one over there. I don't think I'm gonna write yet. I did add, well, camera of course, here. I did add some threaded rod stabilizers right up here. And let's see, what do we got? So there's that. Uh, this is Superion, by the way. Uh, light bar front and back with a fancy fader. This one does have a volcano and a pet's fang, and then this is actually the Creality. This right here is the Creality ABL. And I just picked up my glass the other day uh, when I got home from Mexico, and then uh, my friend Ryan, who runs McEwen 3D, um, got me hooked up with a Kinovo bed heater. So makes all the difference. Room temperature to 65 and 90 seconds. Oh, it's the best thing ever. Um, and then I have to like clamp it down to this desk because it barely, barely fits. Uh, so this one also I have one of those cheapo tablets running, but this one also has another Palette Plus. So it's just kind of up here. I move the, the filament usually kind of hangs out down here on the floor so it feeds up properly. But for now, I don't like to leave filament on the floor. Um, this is the scroll wheel mount for it over here and my giant bottle of Magigoo. If you've never used Magigoo, use it. It's amazing. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Um, if you notice, the beds all have like this weird like streaky finish to it. That's Magigoo. So anyway, that's the tour. Mm, hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, if you're interested in more, if you are interested in checking out the new series that I'm about to start, click the subscribe, wherever you look the thing, and click the bell. And don't forget to like the video. Don't give me this, because I'll cry. All right, I won't cry, but this, click this. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again. Anyway, this is Chris from Versus 3D. Have a good one.